Hello family, our movie begins with Carla, a stunning Italian girl who works as a receptionist in a small hotel in London. Matteo is the name of her lover. Carla and Matteo went to the same college. Carla relocated to London after finishing her studies, and Matteo is currently pursuing his education. Carla was searching for a place to live in London. She looked at a lot of apartments but couldn't find any that were empty. She then consults with a real estate agent. Moira is the name of that real estate agent. Moira deduces from Carla's statements that she is Italian and from Venice City, Italy. Carla is taken aback by this and begins to reflect. It is understandable that she is an Italian by language. But from which Italian city? How did she discover this? Moira tells her that her ex-husband was from Venice as well. He also talked in English in that manner, so she recognized her. Moira informs her that no flat is available, but there is one on the river's edge. However, it is somewhat pricey. She can purchase it for a little less if she wants because of her. Moira had a sexual side. Her gaze is fixed on Carla. Moira begins to touch Carla. Carla had come to see Moira about the flat, and she was not prepared for the wrong relationship. Mateo, on the other hand, appears to be highly concerned about his final exams. One of his pals suggests that he have an affair with the girl to avoid the strain. He claims that all girls are alike. Hearing his talk, most girls cheat on their partners. Mateo is concerned about Carla. He suspects Carla is seeing someone in London and is cheating on him. Carla's phone rang just then. She was overjoyed. She informs Mateo that she will visit the apartment the next day. Mateo makes Carla horny in front of his friend. As a result, he requests that Carla discontinue the phone call. Carla, on the other hand, had a lot to say to him. Mateo learns about Moira from her. She describes how Moira is captivated by her beauty and how she is able to obtain the apartment at a low cost. Carla informs Mateo that she can't wait much longer. Mateo should come to her as soon as possible. The call is being terminated. Carla requests that Mateo accompany her to her Italy flat and bring her possessions. The scene for the following day is now displayed. On entering the flat, Moira leads Carla to see it. Moira tries on Carla once more. She begins to touch her again. She also forces herself to be intimate with her this time. While looking for Carla's possessions, Matteo goes to his Italian home to get some of her belongings. Matteo discovers some old love letters from Carla written by her ex-boyfriend. Matteo was already irritated by his girlfriend's statements, and seeing this letter aggravates him even more. He begins to believe that all girls are the same. His confusion transforms into a rage. To vent his rage, he begins yelling at the girls in his personal college. Carla and Moira appear once more. Moira falls in love with Carla right away. Carla must be associated with her as well, as Moira was still having a one-sided relationship with Carla. Moira took her to a spa where she met other lesbians and had a good time. Moira wished to accompany her and assure her that being a lesbian is not a negative thing. Despite Moira's best attempts, Carla refused to be involved with her. She doesn't want to betray her lover. Matteo, Carla realized one thing that she is really attractive. Everyone in London admired her, but she couldn't be intimate with everyone. The next day, she contacts Matteo and requests that he come to London as soon as possible. But Matteo refuses after reading her love letter. Matteo offers explanations for the absence of the exam, and Carla is taken aback by this news. She is perplexed as to why Matteo is acting in this manner. From here, he can also study for the exam. Carla gives him the address of her new flat as she hangs up the phone. Matteo's mind will be at ease. She believes then he will show up. Carla is dissatisfied with Matteo's actions. She believes Matteo has found a new flat, and he is mistreating her in rage. She begins throwing everything in the house. Just then, she receives a phone call from Moira. She extends an invitation to her to her house party. Carla didn't mind, but she still attends that party to soothe her rage. Moira's ex-husband attended the celebration as well. Moira had asked her to the party so she could show him how nicely her life was going without him. Carla, her ex-husband, appears. They were both from Venice. As a result, they begin speaking in their own tongue while conversing. They interact with one another. After a while, they both go to the restroom and become intimate. Moira becomes concerned about not meeting both of them at the party. She begins her search for both. After a time, she notices her ex-husband leaving the bathroom. She realizes Carla was inside when she walks in sits down, and sees Carla crying. She tries to keep her quiet. Carla informs Moira that she is not like that. She prefers boys to girls. And what happened today was an accident. Mateo was the last person she wanted to defraud. Moira considers exploiting Carla's emotional collapse. She touches Carla in an attempt to seduce her. Moira then takes Carla to her apartment, where they become intimate and test our boundaries. Mateo's phone stands when speaking with Carla. Carla had assumed Mateo would never return. 
Yet the next morning, Mateo is standing at her house's door as she opened it. Mateo then notices her nakedness. The same thing, he notices Moira without her clothes. Moira walks away gently and quietly from there. Carla is nervous on the inside. How will she deal with Mateo? Mateo also demands an explanation from her by displaying her love letter and some intimate images of her ex-boyfriend, and he inquires about his involvement with Moira. Carla, on the other hand, tells him about her ex-boyfriend, whom she met on a tour. They spent a few days together before returning to their own countries. Then he'd go there and write her letters. Carla continues, I only adore you right now. She doesn't even consider anyone else other than him. Mateo was furious. He had no confidence in Carla hearing her remarks. He begins his journey to Italy by saying, By the way, that you will send me a letter and write everything accurately in it and that you will also put in it, why should I forgive you? You will post me if you write all of this. Only after reading this letter will I determine whether or not to forgive you. Mateo then begins to leave. On the way, he passes a park where many couples were having intimate with each other, and he looks at them. Mateo recalls an old scenario in which he and Carla were in Italy, both acquainted with each other, and Matteo was walking from Carla's place to his. Carla's buddy is then seen on the way ironing her clothing in her house. Matteo is persuaded when he sees her in such a state. According to the woman, her spouse is not at home. After hearing this, Matteo begins to have an affair with her. After a while, he notices that her husband was surreptitiously watching the two of them get personal, and he was loving watching them both make an affair. In a similar scenario, he noticed a man in the park watching his wife with someone else enjoying himself. He discovers that, despite his wife's numerous affairs, their love has not faded. Mateo's rage begins to subside when he witnesses this. After a time, Mateo notices Carla running toward him. She approaches him and offers him the letter. Mateo, upon seeing the letter, informs her that it is no longer required. He rips the letter and throws it away before kissing her. This is how our movie concludes. Leave us a comment on how you found this movie. See you in the next video. We hope that you enjoy your time and have a good day.